Trina floor at any time. At the conclusion of the ceremony, you will be able to greet your graduate on the concourse level behind the stage. In the unlikely event of an emergency, you may evacuate the building through exits in each corner of the arena. The safest exit may not be through the doors that you entered or closest to you. If the evacuation of the arena is required, you may meet up with your loved ones at the County Courthouse Plaza located southwest of this arena. Thank you, congratulations to you and your graduates, and enjoy the ceremony.
Welcome to Cascade High School's commencement ceremony for the class of 2022. Please remain standing for the presentation of the colors presented by Everett Public Schools Navy Junior ROTC students to be followed by the national anthem played by the Cascade Band under the direction of Mr. Mark Staley and the Cascade Choir under the direction of Mr. Nicholas Sanchez. Thank you, you may be seated. I would like to start by introducing Assistant Principal Catherine Mayan for our land acknowledgement. We respectfully acknowledge that we are on the traditional lands of the Coast Salish, Sonomish, and Tulalip peoples as we begin to heal. Every public schools is committed to improving the relationship and identifying indigenous people, exploring our true selves. We express our deepest respect and gratitude to the ancestors of this land. We strive to create equitable outcomes and build a culture of inclusive belonging for all students, teachers, staff, and community. I would like to start with a very warm welcome and congratulations to a group of people who have worked very hard to support your graduates, to help you meet your goals, and to be here this uh, afternoon. We want to welcome the parents, guardians, family, and friends of our graduating seniors. Thank you for your encouragement, patience, and support. I want to introduce the people on the stage with me. They have also been here to support each of you as you move through our school district to graduation. Please welcome School Board President Pam Lassane, 
School Board Vice President Tracy Mitchell, School Board Director Carolyn Mason. Please also welcome our Superintendent, Dr. Ian Saltzman, Deputy Superintendent, Dr. Peter Scott, Chief Academic Officer, Dr. Shelley Boten, Regional Superintendent, Larry Fleckenstein, Teaching and Learning Regional Superintendent, Dr. Jeannie Willard, Executive Director of Human Resources, Dr. Chad Golden, Director of College and Career Readiness and On-Time Graduation, Dr. Kathy Woods, Director of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, Joy Grant, Executive Director of Special Services, Kelly Clevenger, Director of Student Support Services, Dave Peters, Chief Strategist, Facilities and Operations, Mike Gunn. Also here with us are Assistant Principals Michael Washington, Jeanette Seemers, and Catherine Mayan. Thank you for being here and for your support and encouragement of each of our students. Cascades, Cascade graduates of 2022, congratulations, this is your commencement. One of the roots of the word congratulations and commencement comes from the Latin meaning come together. And when I think about this class and everything you have gone through to get to this moment, I wanna celebrate the fact that you are graduating together. The unprecedented obstacles you've endured during your time in high school primarily lacked that element, togetherness. For much of the last few years, we've missed that sense of community, that ability to raise one another up, to serve as supports, to find community. And even though we've seen the return of some of the things we've traditionally done together this school year, from athletic events, concerts, plays, dances, assemblies, I think we've all seen and experienced that community isn't really that simple, that coming together is often more complicated than just proximity. To get today, let's appreciate above all else that we celebrate your accomplishments and you, and we do so because you remain together through trying times. Graduates, today is about you, both as an individual and as a group. Often the value of a moment is defined by the people you get to experience it with, the people that you love and that love you, that are ultimately there for you. Those people are sitting all around you today, in seats on the floor and in the stands. And sometimes, especially when you feel like it's all on you, it is important to step back and recognize you have people who are there with you along the way. We all must walk our own roads, but there are people who are behind you, who are rooting for you, to guide you, to believe in you. One of my favorite lines of literature comes from the Austrian poet Rainier Maria Rilke and is, be patient toward all that is unsolved in your heart and try to love the questions themselves. I love that line because it reminds me that as much as we focus on the end, on the outcome, we should really value the process as much as we can. For you right now, it is natural to feel a sense of anxiety, uncertainty, fear, any period of transition can do that. Sometimes you've not even figured out what questions you have to be able to seek the answers you need. Today is a reminder that while we spend so much of our time thinking about our future, trying to get to a goal or to a destination, trying to feel who we need to be, that we can sometimes forget to cherish the moments, the things, and maybe even the people that are right in front of you here and now. Your high school career could not have been more challenging, but I hope that what has occurred over the last few years does not make you focus on what was lost, but helps you value what you have, your abilities, your knowledge, your capacity for kindness and for justice, and most importantly, your relationships. Think about the friendships you've made, the people whose lives you've touched, or think about the growth you've realized. How many of you have recently looked back at your ninth grade year, maybe at that picture in the yearbook? and maybe had a laugh and thought about how much you've changed, I'm also guessing that you, you, you've not just looked at your picture, but at the, the pictures of the people that meant something to you. That's a focus that's not just about friendship, it's about togetherness. It's about enduring, experiencing, and growing together. Often growth is about who you surround yourself with. Look around at all the wonderful people that you have grown and are commencing with today. And this is the true nature of commencement. Commencement is ultimately about beginnings. It's about setting off. 
we use the word commencement because it indicates that this ceremony really is a symbol representing a beginning, not just for you as an individual, but as a group. It's about stepping out of the structures of school and into society, into a larger world, and just diving right in. And even that change, like any change, can be difficult. Moments of change can also be opportunities for growth. All of this, from your years in high school to this moment today, hopefully has taught you to trust in yourself, in your preparation, in the skills you have or will have, and most importantly, trust that you are worthy of success and contentment. The reason why togetherness is so important is that it helps you remember these things. The voices that believe in you will remind you of your worth, of your power, of your capacity. Listen to those voices and ignore the forces that sow, sow doubt in your mind. Let yourself trust you. So, Cascade Class of 2022, you are today beginning that next phase of your story. You, you are turning a page and ending this chapter of your life and opening a new chapter. For many of you, you may already know what this new chapter will entail. It will begin at universities or colleges, apprenticeships, internships, jobs, armed forces, or other civil services. For others, you've not decided on how this new chapter will start. And either way, I think what makes me proud to have been part of your story is your courage, your conviction, your leadership, your perseverance. I know that you will meet the world with all of those same qualities. And most importantly, you will meet the world together. I'm gonna close my message to you with a poem that I always like to share with graduating seniors. It's a poem from the American poet Gwendolyn Brooks titled, Speech to the Young, Speech to the Progress Toward. Say to them, say to the downkeepers, the sun slappers, the self soilers, the harmony hushers, even if you are not ready for day, it cannot always be night. You will be right, for that is the hard home run. Live not for battles won, live not for the end of the song, live in the along. Congratulations and thank you, Cascade Class of 2022. Now I would like to introduce Assistant Principal Jeanette Seemers, who will announce our Hall of Fame inductees. Cascade's first graduating class, the class of 1963, wanted to honor the top 1% of the senior class and created the Hall of Fame. Following this tradition, in early March this year, each staff member was given the opportunity to nominate those seniors who have made the greatest overall contribution to Cascade High School and who best represent their class in terms of academics, athletics, and activities. Nominees were listed on a ballot and the list was narrowed to the top 10 by a vote of their senior peers. The top 10 finalists were interviewed by a panel of staff members for final selection into the Hall of Fame. Inductees are announced for the first time here at graduation. The names of the newly inducted students will be engraved on a plaque displayed permanently in the Hall of Fame showcase at Cascade and receive their own plaque to commemorate this achievement. The following three students have been selected to represent the class of 2022 of Cascade High School in the Hall of Fame. As your name is called, please come to the stage for recognition and remain on stage as we will take a photo of the group. Nicholas Clark. Laura Alcantar Soto. <laughs> Mariana Oliva Haregui.
congratulations to the 59th annual inductees to Cascades Hall of Fame. At this time, I would look, like to introduce our excellent leader, Dr. Ian Saltzman, Superintendent of Everett Public Schools, to announce the Superintendent Scholar Award. Wow, what a great afternoon. It is with great pleasure that I introduce Cascade High School's Superintendent Scholarship for Excellence winner, Caitlin Pryor, <laughs> daughter of Josh and Aaron Pryor. Caitlin, will you please stand? Okay, see you out there, good. Caitlin has maintained a 3.94 GPA while taking eight different AP courses over her high school career. She, <laughs> she is an AP scholar with honors. She also participated in the Washington Aerospace Scholars Program during high school. She played varsity softball for four years and served as team captain for three of them. Freshman year, she competed in varsity wrestling. Outside of school, Caitlin enjoys creative hobbies like sewing, painting, and playing video games. Caitlin credits her experience with isolation during COVID for challenging her to learn more about her own interests, values, and her true self. Outside influence adds diversity to her life now rather than pressure and control. In fact, she embraces the impact of our collective differences, having to solve problems Caitlin believes by acknowledging each other person's interpretations of information around us helps us develop a rich understanding how we all connect. After high school, Caitlin will attend Western Washington University to follow her curiosity to pursue a greater understanding of the world around her. It is my pleasure to acknowledge a student that has felt and feels so many talents to share with this world. And I know I am excited to hear about all the things that Caitlin, Caitlin will accomplish in the future. Please join me in congratulating the Cascade High School Superintendent Scholarship for Excellence winner, Ms. Caitlin Pryor. Thank you, Dr. Saltzman, and congratulations to our Superintendent Scholar nominees and to our Superintendent Scholar, Caitlin Pryor. Next, I would like to introduce your first class speaker this evening, Mariana Oliva Harugi. Good afternoon, graduating class of 2022. We made it. It's a great honor to be standing here today and congratulate each and every one of you for all of your accomplishments. Most importantly, for reaching the most important milestone yet, high school graduation. I'm thankful to be a part of a day that will become a core memory. But before I continue, let me introduce myself. My name is Mariana Oliva Jauregui, your senior class vice president. We've been waiting for this day since kindergarten 13 years ago. Well, in my case, 15 years, but that's only because my mom made me take two extra years for preschool. Thanks, Ma. <laughs> These past four years have been nothing short of crazy. The year 2020 alone will have its own chapter in our kids' history books, and that means that you've all created will be included. It literally took blood, sweat, tears, and a lot of hand sanitizer to get through these crazy four years. Nothing like this has ever happened before, yet we managed to make it through. But we couldn't have done this alone. Thank you to all of the teachers, staff, parents, and family members that put up with this madness alongside us. 
I also want to give a special shout out to Quizlet, Sparknotes, Desmos, and whoever created a copy and paste for helping us get our work done during our time here. <laughs> Lately, as graduation approached, with everyone asking how I was feeling about graduating, I finally found the words to describe my feelings. I feel so old, yet so young at the same time. So old because we're about to enter the real world. We've experienced so much, yet we have our entire lives ahead of us. I feel so young because we didn't get the same high school experience that everyone else had. We spent a year and a half at home, we went through a pandemic, we adapted to new learning styles and attended class from our beds in our pajamas. Honestly, I have great respect for all the homeschoolers out there because let me tell you right now, I don't think I can do the whole learning from home thing again. Although it was a very difficult time for all of us, we learned that we can get through anything. We learned how to deal with toilet paper crisis and high gas prices. If anything, I would say our high school experience was more than the typical experience, not less. Looking back at high school, I realized the seniors before us were right. These years would fly by. These past four years have been full of memories and things I would relive over and over again if I had the chance to. We've created some of the best memories here at Cascade. Cascade is my second home. And I'm being serious because I spent way too much time here, even more time than I spent at my real house. I remember the first day of freshman year, everything was fine. Then came the second day and I got lost. Who gets lost on the second day of school and not the first day? At that moment, I remember thinking, oh my gosh, these are gonna be a long four years. But then we became more familiar with terms like the gummy bear and the clockwise buildings terms only Bruins would know. Sophomore year was a blur for me. I remember having sleepless nights doing Miss Rickard's AP World Notes, and of course, we can't forget the amazing Space Jam Tolo a week before lockdown. Quite possibly one of the best dances we've had here at Cascade, with everyone busting their dance moves in the middle of the dance floor and everyone else hyping them up. Ah, those were the good days. Junior year was full of being in Zoom classes while grocery shopping and from my parents' closet. Near the end of February, my entire family, except for mom and my sister Tina, got COVID. There was five of us stuck in my parents' room for two weeks. They put a little kid's mattress in my parents' small walk-in closet and I slept there, I ate there, I did online school from there, and from for all of those of you who know me, know that I'm always up doing something, so I was going crazy. It was that moment that I realized with a little perseverance and dedication, we can do anything we set our minds to. The class of 2022 is truly unstoppable. Then, faster than a blink, senior year came around. The best year, the easy laid back year, at least that's what everyone said. <laughs> Senior year was full of lasts. Last Friday night lights, last school dances, last football games, and last time eating school lunch together. All of these lasts have been the hardest goodbyes of our, our lives, but I feel accomplished. We, the class of 2022, were the glue of the coming generations. After coming back on campus, we revived Cascade traditions and started new ones too. We made it our duty to teach the coming generations what being a Bruin is all about. I will always remember the food drive. It it's a busy season for us Bruins, but it brings us all together. The best part was rider driver, hiking up those endless stairs, carrying boxes full of food, but on the other side of the door was a giant smile. And that was such a warm feeling. And that right there, it was a, being a Bruin is all about and what having pride in the paw truly means. I also wanna thank all of the parents. Without you guys, we would not be here right now. Most importantly, thank you, Ma y Pa, for making me the young lady I am today. My parents, like many, gave up so much 
for my sisters and me to have a better quality education and overall life. They left their entire families and lives back in Mexico. I felt like quitting many times, spent endless nights doing homework and projects on top of juggling sports and other extracurriculars and a job. But they're my main source of motivation. How am I going to let their hard work and sacrifice go to waste? Like my mom always told me, si vas a hacer algo, hazlo bien, si no, no lo hagas. These, this means if you're going to do something, do it right or just don't do it at all. Although this may, say, they, this may sound harsh, it's one of the best life lessons I've ever gotten. These words have made me the determined and persevering person I am today. Nonetheless, as we grow and become citizens of good for our society, remember to think before you act, because what's written with pen can't be erased. I mean, unless you have an erasable pen, but we all know those don't really work. Have fun and go on adventures. Make unforgettable memories and never forget what you learned here at Cascade. Now comes the end of another chapter. It's time to turn to the next page and begin our adult lives. I know, it sounds scary, right? Look around you. We all come from different backgrounds and have different paths and goals. We all have different plans after graduation. Some of us will be going to college, apprenticeships, straight into the workforce, or maybe even the military. Today might be the last time we see many of these people. And some of them will be our lifelong friends. But no matter where life takes us, we will always have one thing in common. We will always be Bruins. Congrats, class of 2022. We did it. It's the beginning of a new adventure, a crazy adventure called life. Thank you. Thank you, Mariana. We appreciate the time and energy you put into those words. Graduates who are performing with the band and choir, please join the band and choir in the back of the arena. While they are making their way, I want to take a moment and thank all of you who have joined us this evening for this important ceremony. Graduates, will you please join me in thanking your parents, guardians, family members, and friends for the love and support they have given you to get you here today. At this time, I would like to introduce the Cascade Wind Ensemble again under the direction of Mr. Mark Staley. They will be performing a piece entitled In Flight by Samuel R. Hazo.
Thank you, Mr. Staley and members of the Cascade Wind Ensemble. It is my pleasure to introduce this year's recipients of the Principals Award given to students who have maintained a 4.0 GPA through their years at Cascade High School. Each one of this year's recipients maintained this perfect GP, er, grade point average while taking a various rigorous uh, course load. Please stand for recognition when your name is called. Dallin Agler. <laughs> Laura Alcantar Soto. <laughs> Dylan Austin. <laughs> Nicholas Clark. Ariel, Ariel Haji Presanto, Baljinder Carr, Jack Landers, Mariana Oliva Argi. Congratulations to each of you for this accomplishment. Your next class speaker is your classmate, Laura Ramirez. Good afternoon, Cascade High. Dear students, staff, friends, and beloved family members. May I first start off by saying what an honor it is to be here at Brown speaking to you all today. My name is Laura Ramirez, Laura for most of you, Sophie for my family. I would like to share a few words with you with the hope of bringing comfort and encouragement, especially to the class of 2022, just as they did the very first time I heard them. A very wise woman once told me, no dejes que los errores de tu pasado limiten o determinen toda la grandeza para la que tú estás hecha. In English, this means don't let your past mistakes determine or limit all the greatness you are meant for. This was my mom, Lauren's advice, a few months ago, right before opening her very first business, is Spa Salon in Marysville. However, more than 20 years back, during her last year of college, she decided to drop out because of problematic life decisions. And giving up after five long and rigorous years of studying, sacrifice, and determination. Flash forward 20 years, hundreds of house cleanings in a new country later, she graduated with a doctorate in a professional master's statistician's career. Now owning a business and becoming what she always dreamed of. After so long, she refused to settle in a life brought by her past mistakes. She refused to be someone she simply didn't want to be. She refused to let go of passions and aspirations. She knew and truly believed she was meant for more than the poor decisions she once made. In life, we'll find ourselves in situations where fear, frustration, or despair can overwhelm us, being the leading and sometimes the strongest force for our failures or regret. It is easy to doubt ourselves and our abilities in situations we're unfamiliar with. It is even easier to fall into routine and adjust to the ordinary. When we think about success, our future, or the pressure of being someone in life, we might find ourselves doing something we completely hate, simply because we are afraid of failure. We want security and stability, which are both crucial life factors. But we're still young. We don't need to rush. We have time. We are destined to become everything we want to be. We are entitled to think uniquely and dream big. We are deserving of happiness, joy, and accomplishment. We are worthy of every single good thing that comes our way. We just simply need to find it in us and truly believe it. 
not to put ourselves or our needs above or at the cost of others, but to humbly know that nobody has the power to bring us down without our consent. Believe it or not, our worst and most constant enemy is us. At the end of the day, it is the one that knows us the best. With that, all of our weaknesses. This is why we must work daily in overcoming each of our fears and getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. We can't rely on being born great, nor count the greatness will simply be handed to us. But we must not forget that the opportunity of achieving greatness is within our grasp. You might see yourself as an average person at graduation who simply survived freshman orientation, PSAT, semester finals, Navian's task, college applications, online learning, and even a world pandemic. Yet the truth is, an average person such as you and me, who will eventually make many mistakes along the way, is destined for greatness. Whether it is on a solo path or a journey recognized by the world, we are extraordinary, resilient, and capable. Class of 2022, it has been more than an honor to be one of you. I would like to think that no matter where we are in life, whether we knew each other personally or not, these past four years at Cascade and the adversities we faced as a class will forever connect us. I truly could have not asked for a better graduating class. Now, before closing out, I would like to share a quote that really stuck with me. Dr. Martin Luther King once said, not everybody can be famous, but everybody can be great because greatness is determined by service. Remember that beyond any recognition, popularity, social media likes, or even fancy cars, the legacy you leave behind is who you were as a person, how you treated others, and the essence your heart spoke with. The essence of being human is the hope you project and the happiness you bring to those you have ever crossed paths with. Achieving greatness is sure about self-forgiveness and confidence, but it is also what you give and leave behind. Life is reciprocal, and what you plant today is what you will harvest tomorrow. Regardless of what our life becomes, the truth is, ultimately our greatness will not be measured by tomorrow's actions, but the ones you start today. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Laura. Thank you for your thoughtfulness and inspiration. Now, I would like to introduce our Cascade Combined Choirs under the direction of Mr. Nicholas Sanchez. The choir will be performing Like a Rose in Summer, arranged by Emile Crocker, a tribute to all you graduates.
Thank you, Mr. Sanchez and choir. That was beautiful. Band and choir seniors, you may now return to your seats with the graduating class. All of our musical groups have performed well this year. Today's performance are another example of their fine work. Let's thank Mr. Staley, Mr. Sanchez, and all our musicians one final time. Let's give our musicians another round of applause. All right, the final speaker this evening is your classmate, Miriam Silla. <laughs> I love you guys too. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, distinguished guests, and class of 2022. My name is Miriam Sila, and I'm your senior class president this year. And may I start off with saying what a pleasure it is to be able to speak to all of you this afternoon. Class of 22. May I begin with saying it has been an honor to serve as your senior class president, and I hope I've made you all proud. Thank you for all your support and encouragement, because without that, it definitely would have been a much harder job. As we're about to end this chapter of our lives and start the next, I wanted to share a few things with you that I've learned over the past four years that maybe you could take with you. First, as I look out at all of you, I won't claim to know each and every one of you personally, because the truth is, I don't. I wish I did, because I'm sure that all of you are amazing human beings. Maybe we sat next to each other in the class. Maybe we walked past each other in the hallway. Maybe we did speak, but didn't catch each other's names. One way or another, our paths have crossed. So we aren't complete strangers, because there are no strangers here, only friends that we haven't met yet. I hope that each and every one of you can take from this that even though we all don't know each other as well as we maybe should after four more years together, I'd like to think that Cascade forever links us, and that no matter what, we can all call on each other whenever we need to. And as you go forward in life, whether you're headed into the workforce, or attending a college, or simply wherever the wind takes you, remember to do so with an open mind, a full heart, and befriend people as they are, no matter who they are, or where they come from, because everyone deserves a chance. The second thing that I want to share are some powerful but simple words that I've been living by throughout my whole life, and those three words are, never give up. I'm the second oldest of five kids to two of my parents who had immigrated here from West Africa, and those three words are what they've truly lived by. My father had first left his family in the country of Africa in the city of Ivory Coast to come to America with nothing but just five dollars to his name in hopes of one day being able to give his, chance, his kids a chance at a better life and a chance at a better education. Life was so rough for him, from sleeping in cars to working jobs that paid only a few dollars an hour, but he was determined to never give up. And my mom, who works two jobs and barely has time to be home, just to make sure that me and my siblings have gotten everything that we've always ever wanted. I was definitely blessed with two of the most strongest people to call my parents. I hope I've made you guys beyond proud of me and all my accomplishments because everything that I do is truly for you. And you've taught me to never give up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and to class of 22, I wanna offer those words to you as encouragement. Be ready for whatever the world throws at you and keep going because you don't need to have all the right answers right now. It's probably better if you don't anyways. Remember that life is a learning curve and not a test. So spend, however, so spend however much time you need figuring out what you really want. The world will change you in ways you would never expect, but you shouldn't fight it. Let it help you grow, push you forward to be what helps you make this world a better place. Be reminded of all that we've been through these years and remember to never give up. Finally, I wanna share my favorite quote of all time because I think it's something that we all truly can relate to. And that is, it takes a village to raise a child. Because it certainly did take a whole country to raise me. <laughs> From the Grace family, who has been my second family for as long as I could remember, 
to all the staff here at Cascade, to the Hemsteads for being my second parents here at school, and to Mr. Washington for being the role model that every African American student needed. <laughs> all my past and current teachers, all my peers, my classmates, my avid family, my brothers, Miracle, Lul, Yakub, <laughs> for being my number one supporters, being at all my games and all my senior nights, to my best friends. I promised I wouldn't cry. <laughs> Darshe Grace. <laughs> Fatu Mane, Bintabalde, Emily Kakachia, and Trinity Robinson. <laughs> you guys have truly been by my side since the beginning. <laughs> You guys have taught me to stay true to myself, and you guys have checked me whenever I needed to be checked. <laughs> Thank you guys for everything, and I love you. <laughs> All right. And finally, I definitely promised myself I wouldn't cry, and I'm not doing very good, but. <laughs> and lastly, I want to thank the two most important people in my lives, and that's my parents. Without you guys, I wouldn't be standing here today. Thank you for all the sacrifices that you've made for me. Thank you for always being by my side. Thank you for being my biggest cheerleaders. I cannot wait to one day be successful and be able to give you guys the world like you've given me, inshallah, I love you. Thank you. I personally would not be standing here today as a future coup for Washington State University if, <laughs> if it wasn't for each and every one of you. I want to take a minute for all you guys in the stands right now. So class of 22, if you would take the time to get to applaud this village and thank everybody that's come out to support us today. because we definitely wouldn't have been here without every single one of you. Before I close, I would like to say, class of 2022, graduation is not the end, it's the beginning. And I wanna thank all of you for all the memories, and I'm proud of everything that we've accomplished and look forward to all the tremendous things that we have to come. We truly are an amazing class, thank you. Thank you, Miriam, for your inspirational and meaningful message. Seating around this year's graduates are many of the staff members of Cascade High School. I would like to take a moment to thank them. This staff has worked hard and has been dedicated to the learning and growth of our students. Please join me in recognizing these dedicated professionals. We are at that part of the ceremony that I believe you've all been waiting for. Dr. Saltzman, members of the board, honored guests, it is my privilege as principal of Cascade High School to present you the members of the class of 2022 who I certify have met the graduation requirements established by the Everett Public Schools and the state of Washington. Principal Takeyoshi, on behalf of Everett Public Schools Board of Directors, Administration, and the State of Washington, it is my honor to accept the graduating class of 2022. We will now present the diplomas. The readers are assistant principals Jeanette Seemers and Michael Washington. As the seniors are preparing to receive their diplomas, uh, I want to I remember that this is a formal ceremony. This is a formal ceremony. We are recognizing these young people in something of a rite of passage. Their coming across the stage signals their movement from high school student to young adult. 
I ask that everyone here respect the importance of this occasion. So please, do cheer for your special graduate. Keep in mind that each graduate and each family has waited for this chance to hear their graduate's name and cheer. If you keep your individual cheers short, it will allow each name to be heard. The readers will pause for a very few seconds between names. We will save the big, noisy celebration for the end when all the names have been read and when all have received their diplomas. We very much appreciate your cooperation. Binta Sira Balde. Darche Gloria Renee Grace. Amelia Rosemay Fashini. Justno Ajla. Gabriela Hernandez. Mariana Elitzel Olivia Hauregi. Fatu Laman Mane. Miriam Hussein Silla. Avril Balderes Rojas. Laura Sofia Ramirez. Fatu Njai. Yaneli Aline Abadillo Dominguez. Amy Camila Cadaron Zamudio. Maria Acuna Garabe. Hewan Yunwen Gonzalez. Dalin Aglor. Natalie Giselle Toledo. Juan Carlos Bagallo Alvarez. Revy Ray Roberts. Hussein Alazadi. Laura Alcantar Soto. Keiko Moon Alila. Jacob C. Allen. Zahara Alnuaman. Ali Arobe. Hassan Alsham Kawi. Ali Hassan Ayunesi. Zainab Hamed Alshite. Briella Anderson. Fatima Ayunisi. Jackson Antonius. Zoe Anderson. Desmond Atwood. Sophia Angelina Arkipchuk. Angita Aulia. Pragman Singh Ajula. Nicholas Babic. Dylan Lee Austin. Kamal Bayrovich. Vance Backstrom. Jasmine Ballesteros. 
Crystal Jane Danang Baker. Michelle Basilio Lopez. Clover Berry. Brian Sebastian Bernal. James Bergenholtz. Geraldine Bibiano Manzano. Taryn Isabella Berry. Dylan Matthew Billings. Adam Bickett. Ethan Dumlau Borja. Isaac James Bjorkquist. Scott Anthony Bohall. Joshua Allen Boma. Taylor Ann Boyle. Yana Boyko. Alonso Manuel Bravo. Alexander Jackson Bradiger. Tristan Daniel Bruner. Kirill Bredekin. Colin Andrew Burgess. Angela Tan Bowie. Damien Campoverde. David Landon Butler. Dylan Carbajal. Andre Cantu. Aaron Castellon. Olivia Carrier. Lillian Marie Chamberlain. Brittany Ashley Centeno. Yun Yun Chen. Ariana Chavez. Hein Yok Chan. Randy Chu. Se Omar Chor. Mohammed Lamin Chor. Nicholas Michael Clark. Andrew Cisneros. Odell Ellen Cooper. Adama Bakri Conti. Hector Coronado Ramirez. Naomi Rosemary Coronado. Ceci Merisol Cortez. Diego Miguel Korpenig. Amy Malia Crumba. Christopher Neil Coyle. Brianna Cuevas. Angel Rodrigo Cruz. Haji Hassan Darbo. Fieser Asher Das. Alexander Aiden Davis. Jorge Afonso Del Angel. Jeremy Delap. Aliyah Commandator Direco. Naomi Jade De Torres. Ria Dillon. Musa Lai Diaby. Tani Ebony Doyle. 
Crisalina Abinales Duran. Aricia Esther Durham. Noah Durham. Cameron. Isaac Edgerton. Cameron Edwards. Chase Ellis. Liam Emerson. Anthony Espinoza. Isabella An Elena Estrada. Anthony Allen Everson. Rifa Ramadan Farki. Emilia Feldman. Jasper Isaiah Fernandez. Chloe Fitzpatrick. Isabella Forney. Mackenzie Lee Frasto. Ava Claudia Gann. Spencer Daniel Gomero. Wait for me. Miguel Angel Garcia Nogales. Alan Garcia. Dion Roberto Garcia. Jose Garcia. Elise Gartland. Anna Gavrichuk. Samuel Getahoon. Tate Gilbert. Josephine Gomez Anaya. Unique Javon Gonzalez. Giselle Vanessa Gonzalez Zapata. Connor Vincent Gore. John Christopher Graham. Diva Gupta. Alejandro Guzman Amaya. Maliha Habul. Ariel Huiling Haripianto. Jacob Hahn. Kareem Hamo. Brian Hanley. Corey Hansen. Isabella Hardup. Jacob Charles Hartwig. Bushra Hassan. Sophie Ann Hayward. Philip Michael Hazley. Dane Joseph Henriksen. Josephine Herman Ballin. Antonio Santana Hernandez Aguilar. Just like Martin Hernandez. Trey Hill. Adriana Paige Hinman. Justin Paul Hing. Kendall Karina Hitch. Jennifer T. Ho. Johnny Fang Ho. Vivian Nguyen Ho. Edgar Hogan. 
Noah Holsapo. Lexi Grace Horrell. Kara Housen. Thomas Rodriguez Husanje. Ian Jean Humphreys. Bernardo Hurtado. Jennifer Iglesias Hernandez. Elizabeth Nicole Ilyushenko. Gana Ivanova. Kevin Arlen Jacks. Cameron Christopher Jacobson. Savannah Bell James. Jack David Ingevec. Arnish Singh Jammu. Yes. Tully Jackson Hobbs. Litsy Allison Jimenez Galvin. Elijah Yumana. Oliver Jimenez Bernal. Aaron Michael McGowan. Emily Kakachia. Christina Kaminska. Arnstdeep Kar Kong. Caitlin Kennedy. Mark Caracas. Jumima Sona Kapoy. Sophia Kachubi. Shay Marie Coger. Rosalina Taita Kong. Jasmine Kramer. Casey Marie Coons. Mia Cheyenne Kuupuulele Huanani Lad. Duck Lamb. Jack Landers. Xander Lyag Larson. Amy Ho Lee. Son Hai Lee. Maya Annalise Lethem. Jonas Michael Lebol. Danai Leon Jimenez. Hunter Lilly. Amy Lucero Frias. Kim Lund. Vika Lyshuk. Harshan Mahil. Giovanni Cura Manabat. Alex Manio. Ebrima Mane. Joshua Michael Merritt. Aliana Marquez. Arlene. Rachel Martinez. Jennifer Laisha Martinez. Joshua Munt Maxwell. 
Olivia Francis Maxwell. Joshua Tyler Navalta McCarty. Brandon Michael McDaniel Tillis. Kendra Sue McGann. Ronan Gabriel McCaig. Kaylee Marie McIntosh. Emma Sage McMurtry. Samantha Percy McMurray. Mia Lekana Mendez. Alco Nomaclea Larray Macadingo. Mateo Nikolai Mendoza. Mia Charia Mendez. Carlos Eseia Mitchell. Abigail Ann Meyer. Riley Grace Menu. Ned Miller. Natalia Irma Monroy Witron. Eduardo Gael Monroy Weithram. Ryan Joshua Monzon. Mark Gabrielle Montera. Wyatt Christopher Moreland. Giovanni Moreno. Umukutham Winnie Nafara Umar. Jordan Riley Mulalili. Shade Devat Marie Naves. Eva Orhan Najar. Jackson Nelson. Ferris Nadif. Alina Nyo. Ivy Nyo. Nam Nyo. Kaylee Nyo. Darren Dan Nguyen. Youngmi No. John Nguyen. Tina Nguyen. Nolene Niomubye. Preston William Nielsen. Gorina Nicole Note. Sotia Lorraine Norn. Modesto Ojeda Mota. Talia Lucia Ocampo. Connor Thomas Olson. Elizabeth Olney. Monique Ornelas. Lena Vicky Orlov. Keanu Contreras Ortega. Kibon Ortega Rodriguez. 
Linda Esmeralda Osuna. Dulce Manina Ortiz. Romel Angelo Palayon. Alejandro Martin Palacios. Logan Rodney Paredes. Malika Angel Pan. Lauren Marie Paul. Ariana Michelle Pascasio. Kimberly Perez. Ethan Edward People. Tuan Pham. Shania Sipka Pat. Cadence Picard. Lana Putavan. Victoria Abigail Pineda. Lao Panala. Deacon Wesley Postal. Sophia Elaine Pinarini. Caitlin May Pryor. James Walter Powell. Melody Ramos. Rena Lazabel Lustina Romalete. Charlene Kate Reyes. Chester John Chua Ramadio. Graham Anthony Richards. Steven Reyes Rosales. Valerie Jade Rivera. Maddie Ripley. Jordan Janelle Rourke. Wyatt Rivera. Jack Roberts. Logan Rourke. Eric Josue Roman. Trinity Fernandez Robinson. Jose Romero. Arlie Romero. Mira Basran Russell. Joshua Alexander Ruiz Cortato. Josephine Salazar. Deanna Guadalupe Salazar. Angel Ann Salagsugan. Sebastian Garcia Salazar. Matthew James Shifley. Jessica Sanchez. Victor Alexis Segura Hernandez. Hannah Nancy Schleer. Brianna Marie Serna. Andrew Clinton Seitz. Chloe Sharp. Cisco Serna. Angel Ann Shelby. Isabel Jasmine Sharp. 
Ethan Jeffrey Sianco. Sophia Ivana Shilishova. Damon Singlocum. Samantha Silvestre. Natalie Jo Smith. Ashton David Smith. Alyssa Soak. Devon Sofa. Abigail Christine Summers. Justin Felipe Sosa. Somatra Sofan. Kate Stalins. Suzanne Louise Soul. Storm Steiner. Riley Marie Stark. Aria Faye Stowell. Lou Hope Stober. Astrid Azadara Sudrajak. Maxim Anatoly Storozhuk. Gustav Yanis Sunda. Farrell Suderjot. Edmund Damien Suwangumakat. Michael Serkanov. Joris Takali. Kyla Rayanne Sweeney. Michael Thomas. Chelsea Tang. Emily Ann Thornton Spina. Vaughn Thompson. Madeline Nicole Tellepson. Young Mi To. Vanessa Jasmine Torres Reynoso. Naomi Toraba Trujillo. Aja Bogota Torre. Ricardo Torres Arevalo. Dustin Tran. Anthony Tran. Maxim Alexander Tredikoff. Moses Tran. Quincy Trung. Mackenzie Ann Trower. David Vashek Matsi. Okay. Yadidia Game Erge. Catherine Valeria Balizanor. Caden Taylor Verkirk. Destin Devin Van Den Demo. Ryan Edward Vlahovic. Andy Chow View. Anotai Natavi Vong Pet. <laughs> Tr 
Tristan Willem. Wyatt Otto Wallier. Cecilia Williams. Bodie Owen Williams. Jaden Zareth. Nicholas Ethan Wood. Isabel Marissa Young. Isabella Michelle Yardley. Siraj Zarkuzi. Mohammed Amin Zayou. Pin Pin Zhen. Please give all of our graduates one more round of applause. Congratulations. I would now like to welcome senior class officers to the stage. Please welcome Jasnor Ajla, Darshay Grace, Mariana Oliva Haragi, and Mariam Silla. Now, class officers, please lead your graduating class in one last act as officers, the turning of the tassel. The changing of the tassel from the right to the left is symbolic for your transition from high school, student, high school students to high school alumni. At this time, graduates, please turn your tassels. <laughs> And now, Dr. Saltzman, I present the graduating class of Cascade High School, class of 2022. Not throwing, not throwing, not throwing yet. Mr. Staley, will you lead the band uh, in leading our newest alumni in the alma mater? The words are printed in the program. Bruins, we're gonna do our Bruin Whisper for one last final time. Are you guys ready? All right. All right, we're gonna go four times, all right? Ready? One, two, three. B, 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 R, U, I, 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 N, S, Bruins, Bruins, go Bruins. B, 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 R, U, I, 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 N, S, Bruins, Bruins, go Bruins. B, 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 R, U, I, 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 N, S, Bruins, Bruins, go Bruins. B, 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 R, U, I, I, All right. 
right, class of 2022, Cascade High School graduates, please find your seats. All right, Cascade High School graduates. It will now be time to celebrate. You have graduated. Will the audience please remain seated during the recessional? Graduates will come to meet you. Graduates, your senior class officers will lead you in the recessional. Please recess after the staff. Graduates, continue standing. 